Correctio is losing it. Holy shit. Monokuma file, duct tape, gold leaf, loose floorboard. Angie was attacked in the empty room first. And then carried into the research lab? Impossible. Impossible! That's nothing but a delusion! You would tend to poison our minds with your delusions? Oh my god, that took five. It's no delusion. Angie's two external wounds tell mm -hmm. the story. The duct tape. After she was struck in the empty room, she was carried to the art research lab and then killed. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? Duct tape. The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Oh, that was wrong. Shit. Oh no! Oh no! You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wiped them down later, there'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? I'll cut through your words. Shwa. There was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. What? It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. Dude, I'm gonna be sad if he did kill both. It was under they, the have a, they could have a, such Most an interesting dynamic. Oh, he's dead. The culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. It must have been Atua who did that for us. Bless Atua. What? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? Now we know most of the mystery behind Angie's murder. I'm convinced there's only one person who could have killed Angie. Wait, there is? No, don't make me pick. I don't want to say him, but he's being so fucking sketch. It has to be you. Boo! Kyo, you killed Angie. What the fuck? So it's true. Oh, well, that was obvious. Such a boring, obvious answer. Boo! In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. Why? Why you killed them both? I think one of the murders was an accident. An accident? That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. Huh? Which one? Oh, did Angie accident? Did Angie do what uh, Kokichi did and bonk her head? The murder was an accident. It's Angie. That's it. Angie's murder was an accident. What? Tenko wasn't accident? That's right. Kyo originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick. But while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from talking. She just happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Then he should have just stopped there. Once he killed Angie, there was no reason for him to kill Tinko. He only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. If you get bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? What on earth are you talking about? No, I'm not the culprit. So why is everyone looking at me like I am? Why? Why are they? Why is it? Calm yourself, Correcchio. Yes. Oh, God. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. Look at their horrid faces. This sorry lot is not worth agonizing over. Is this the sister that he talked about? You're right. Yeah. You're right. Very 
he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? It Give me another twist. I don't want him to die. With someone. I don't want him to die. Someone? He's just talking to himself. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? Hey, Mew. Boys can wear lipstick. No matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. I never acknowledge your allegations. Not a single one of them. For you see, there is no evidence that I killed Angie. <laughs> no, I will not acknowledge it. I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I will acknowledge fiction, mystery. I won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. Well said. Good job, Coretti. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Creeps me the fuck out! I like that they used that sprite for her having a violent orgasm and for her being scared. No evidence? There's no evidence that he killed Angie? You're wrong. There is evidence. There is? What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, yes. The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Keo. <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Apologize. Come on, apologize. It's too late to apologize. 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 Come on. Apologize. 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 Seriously, what the hell's happening? I have no idea what's happening with Keo. But I know what weapon he used on Angie. I have to prove it to him. Oh shit. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. I really don't like the music for this one. It makes yes, me sad. I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Why must you force your delusions on us? Your logic? That's merely a delusion. Well said, Correggio. To continue this debate is meaningless. Why must you force your delusions on us? Your logic? That's merely a delusion. <laughs> I mean, they've had pretty, like, similar the of this minigame so in each game. Why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong. I just don't like me. the music. Correggio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correggio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Wait, what's the fucking errors? Apologize. Apologize. Oh, I just don't get to see the timing. Apologize. Apologize. I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Final blow. Oh, shit. You have no proof that Correcchio uh, is the killer. Remove floorboard. It ends here. Ooh. Hey, boy. With the same hey, boy. He used in the seesaw trick. <laughs> Zangy, please. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And how do you know the floorboard was a murder weapon? There was a small patch of dry blood on the underside of the floorboard. Angie's blood? Angie's blood? Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. <laughs> But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. There's the also the blood stain yep, under yep. the floor to consider. For that to be there, the floorboard must not have been in place at the time of the attack. Good point. Had the floorboard been in place, her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. Truth. I think. Keo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. How? If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick, 
It means the culprit knew about the seesaw. So the same person killed ten Boo, I wanted it to be different people. <laughs> that was a good scream. I respect it. I believe that was that good. Steel was setting up the seesaw. He was holding the board. Usually screams in English dubs are like, but that was good. When Shout Andy outs to him. And a cold cocker with a floorboard. Cold cocker. That's not Keo, dude. That's gray silhouette. What you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Well, it's true. It's, it's the truth. Uh, uh. Yeah. Looks like we're almost at the end. All right, Shuichi. I'll leave the finale to you. Bring down the house. Shuichi, please. Put an end to this. For Angie and Tanko's sake. End this class trial. I'll do it for Angie's sake. I understand. I'll go over everything one more time. Kyo, I want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. Losing argument. Who was the culprit with the saw in the empty room? Uh, oh my god, look, you don't unlock most of these until you're like deep. What weapon knocked into you? What do I have? Hit the sliding lock, the removed floorboard. Well, that one goes there. Ding. What was compressing the injury on Angie's head? That was the duct tape, but I don't have that. What killed Angie? The katana? Is it, the, is it this? Yeah. Whose effigy was stabbed? Well, that's Kaede, but don't have that yet. The handle of the spinning katana hit the sliding lock. What's this last one? The small stone later on. What object did Tinko rest her forehead on? Ding. The duct tape, that one goes here. The path made with salt. The salty path. Where does that go? There. The sickle placed to kill. It's not there, is it? How did the magic circle give me race? Oh, here. Oh, okay. The hidden weapon. All right, now we have all the rest. Shuichi extinguishes the flame. That's the one up here. The cut cross piece. That's, that's the very first one. Stomp hard. Two hops this time. Slot. Yeah. This is the truth of Boom. the case. Boom! The truth of the case! Let's look back at the first murder. It was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. The culprit was preparing oh the seance murder they had planned. Ooh, thanks, Zangi, for the follow. To use the floorboard as a seesaw. They had to cut the cross piece supporting it. Wait, Sati, did you put hearts over its eyes? That is genuinely disturbing. The plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. This would divert suspicion <laughs> away from the culprit and whoever picked a room. It, like, it actually goes over the, the right spot, too. Impressive. To cut the cross pieces, they needed a saw. I imagine they got one from the warehouse. They were planning to cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. Look how cute she is. 
However, God damn it. The culprit was working on the middle room. The unexpected happened. I'm so mad. Angie walked into that room and saw the culprit making their preparations. She needed some fire for the ritual and had gone to the room for a candle. I could feel it coming, but I didn't want it like this. At that point, the culprit had not finished the setup you shut your and was mouth, just pirate. cutting cross pieces. I'll unmod you just so Angie I can ban you have for having shit that it was tied to some kind of murder plan. But now that Angie had seen it, the culprit couldn't use the seesaw trick. Any other person might have just given up, but not our culprit. No. 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 The culprit took the floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie in the head. God damn it. She was the best. And now she's fucking dead. The culprit did not want to give up on their plan and had to improvise. Wait, didn't best girl die in chapter three and the... Uh, around Angie's injury to Third, stop second game too. Chapter 3 is fucking cursed. Then they picked up her unconscious body and carried her to a research lab. They killed second best girl in the first game and best girl in the other two games. Wait, chap that, that was chapter No, chapter 2 was was Pecco. Hello? You guys are tripping. Chapter 2 is Peko Peko Yama. While she was unconscious, the culprit hurried to tie up this loose end. She killed the photographer. Mahiru. But because they were in she a killed hurry, Mahiru. they made a crucial oversight. Mahiru was not best girl. They didn't notice the duct tape had peeled off and was no? Mikan was body. best girl. Without that evidence, we may never have figured out the culprit's trick. Chapter 3s are cursed, dude. They're always Karen's double murders and they always kill the high tier characters. To the ultimate art lab. Lock the front door from inside. Hey, at least I don't like Pekko, the, the ultimate Madonna boring character. Yikes. They then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck. Dude, that's fucked her. up. She's unconscious. Leave her alone. I did like Chiaki. Then, I don't think she's the best, us, but I enjoyed the Chiaki. Culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. That's why I have Hey Hey as a bit alert. First, they used rope from the warehouse and hung four effigies upside down. There were two reasons for this. To overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere. I don't think she's the best because I don't like the characters who are like, you know the right answer, don't you, Hajime? I know you can find it if you just dig a little deeper. I'm like, no, that shit annoys me. But I still like Chiaki. The culprit stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the rear entrance. Dig deeper. And spun the effigy around to twist up the rope. Dude, this effigy spinning thing is actually the most galaxy brain part of the entire plan. <laughs> After enough turns, the culprit let go. Let her rip! We once released, the effigy began spinning. I like how it's looking up her skirt for that little thing. The pitch black room seesaw is pretty galaxy brain too. The handle of the katana then hit the sliding lock. God damn it. If lock only An Angie hadn't walked in at that exact moment. Fuck! A difficult trick, 
But remember that the lock was so loose it moved at the slightest touch. That's so unlucky. The culprit also would have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. Once complete, the door was locked, but the duct tape was left behind. Perhaps the culprit noticed it, but by that point, it was too late. The room was sealed. There was no way for them to get back inside. Then, this morning, we opened up the room and discovered Angie's body. Enraged pretty hard for a few minutes. Yo, look at a Shuichi but looking the intimidating. Finished. They wanted one more murder. Well, you think Angie would have agreed to be the spirit medium? To do that, they manipulated us into performing this seance. Of the three empty rooms, the middle one. Do you think she would lit something inside her that isn't Tatua? I don't think so. She's already Atua's vessel. I don't know if she would have been a spirit medium for something else. Plus, there would have been no motivation to do the seance if she hadn't already been killed. You would have had to come up with some other justification. I was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's place in the seance. Tenko volunteered to be the medium. Yeah, I don't she think Angie would have gone for it. Get her killed. To perform the seance, the culprit claimed they needed something for Tenko. Dude, look at Himiko's face. They got her yeah, perfect. And even Tinko looks small cute. Stone that Himiko had That's impressive. The courtyard. Tenko, at the culprit's request, bowed her head until it was touching the stone. That position was instrumental in making sure the murder went as planned. Clunk. Next, Kokichi and I placed the iron cage over Tenko in the middle of the magic circle. The culprit then volunteered to drape the white cloth over the iron cage. We didn't realize it at the time. Took some major sleight of hand to get the, the sickle culprit. there. They needed to set up the murder weapon that was used to kill Tenko. While they were covering the cage with a cloth, they secretly placed the sickle. Finally, four of us placed the wooden statue on top of the cage. The culprit used the weight of the statue to keep the murder weapon in place. Act five. After the preparations were complete, we began the seance. Kokichi looking cute. In complete darkness, we each stood in one corner and sang the Cage Child song. When the song finished, the soul of the dead was supposed to enter the media. But our culprit had another plan. It can't be correct, yo, dude. You can see the, the you can see their uh, culprit's mouth. Grecchio's innocent. Smile. Right after we started singing, the culprit began making their way toward Tenko. It would have been quite difficult to do in total darkness, but our culprit had a guide. They used the lines of a magic circle drawn with salt. The culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along. Don't they only have the detail if it was relevant to the case? Like, Kirumi's silhouette only had the gloves because it was relevant, and Kaede only had her backpack because it was relevant. He doesn't have any, like, details that were relevant to the case, so there are none there. And when the culprit reached the center of the circle, they found the floorboard that had its crosspiece cut off the night before. 
Yeet! Then lifted up their foot and stomped down hard on the floorboard. I'm impressed he didn't fall on his ass or anything. The floorboard lifted up Dude, that's fucked up. Do you think she was like paralyzed and for Tenko's a few seconds before she died and she cage. couldn't even like scream or anything? Tenko was stabbed in the back of the neck by the sickle on the top of the cage. Like, did it sever her she spine, was probably? Right before our eyes, Fuck. And we didn't even see it. That's messed up, dude. After committing the crime, the culprit followed the salt back to their corner. Beep, beep, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, finished the ritual ba -dum, ba -dum, and had us light the candles. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. We followed the culprit's directions. Like, she probably didn't even know what happened until she was already dead. Thick body. thighs that are dead. Thick dead thighs. And while we were all focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle and dropped it under the floor through the hole in the corner of the room. Yeah, she said she died fast, but not instantly. But she, did she have time to like even process what the fuck happened? Ironically, the final step of the murder was unwittingly carried out by us. The culprit Jenna, no. had planned the murder so that we would unintentionally destroy some evidence. That evidence was the magic Don't tamper with the this murder scene. Thank you. Ooh, look at that. However, the culprit didn't know that Kibo had taken a picture. He really saved us. Without that, Sobbing we wouldn't know what changes were made to the circle. But now we know for certain, and we know the culprit drew the magic circle. Correct Yoshinguchi, the ultimate anthropologist. You're the culprit behind these murders. Wait, who has memory of a goldfish?